یا یو نبی حسبک اللہ ومن اتبا کبن المومنین او پروفٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم فار یو اللہ از سفیشنٹ اینڈ فار دوز آلسو ہو آر فالوئنگ یو ناؤ دس آیا کین بی ٹرانسلیٹڈ ان ٹو ویز اللہ از سفیشنٹ فار یو آلسو اینڈ فار یور فالوورز آلسو And Allah and your followers are sufficient for you. The second meaning is more, you know, according to the text. Because we found in the former ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strengthened you with his own help and with these moments, with these people. So in the same way, Ya ayyuh nabiyu hasbuk Allah wa manit tabaka minil mu'mineen. For you, Allah and these believers who are following you, they are sufficient. Don't fear anything. Ya ayyuhal nabi yuharru dil mu'mineen ala al-qital. O Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, exhort the believers to go to war in the viqas of Allah, in the way of Allah. In yakum minkum ishroona sabiroon. If there will be from amongst you 20 persevering Muslims, Yaglebu may attain. They will overpower 200. 1 to 10. And if there will be 100, Yaglebu alfan. They will be victorious over 1000. Minal ladina kafaru. From among those who have rejected the faith and who have suppressed the testimony of their own souls also. They are now common lie of common because they are the people who they don't understand. The, the, the understanding of the realities of this universe enhances your power. When you know everything is in the hand of Allah, nobody can harm me anything. Now oh, your courage, you know. And a person again, he thinks he can do me something. He can harm me. He can bring some bad thing to me. Well, he will be fearing anybody, everybody. He will be always fearing. And the person who knows, nobody can do any harm to me. لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله. ما أصاب من مصيبة إلا بإذن الله. No harm can come to me. They might try their best. They can't do me any harm. Now your courage, your fearlessness, it cannot be measured. So because they don't know it, this is the truth that they don't know. That nothing can be can, can be done without the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. قُلْ لَنْ يُسِيبَنَا إِلَّا مَا كَتَبَ اللَّهُ لَنَا In the next surah we shall read it. قُلْ لَنْ يُسِيبَنَا إِلَّا مَا كَتَبَ اللَّهُ لَنَا هُوَ مَوْلَانَا Nothing can happen to us except that with Allah. He has decided for us. And He is our protector. He is our friend. Whatever comes from Him, it's always welcome. Even if it is death, it's okay. It's actually the gateway to heaven. The gateway to Jannah. قِيلَ ادْخُلِ الْجَنَّةِ قَالَ يَا لَا تَقَوْمِ يَا لَمُونَ بِمَا غَفَرَ لِي رَبِّي وَجَعَلَنِي مِنَ الْمُكْرَمِينَ No sooner you are dead here in the way of Allah and you enter directly to the heaven. You don't have to wait for the day of judgment. These shuhada who lay down their lives in the way of Allah, they go direct. They will not be waiting for the day of judgment to come. They go direct. So how now, what thing can you know? can terrorize a Muslim or a Mu'min who is a true believer. Ya ayyuhal nabi yuhab radil mu'minina al-qital in yakum minkum ishruna sabiruna yaglibu mayatayani wa in yakum minkum mayatun yaglibu alfam minal ladhina kafaru bi annam qawmun la yafqahun. Al-ana khafaf Allah ankum. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has lightened it for you. Wa alima anna fikum da'fa. And he knows that now a weakness has started within you. Why? You know, in the early days of the Madani period, there were no munafiqeen. But now, as time passed, this element started growing. So that was a sort of weakness. Because, you know, after all, they were legal Muslims. They were included as Muslims. I told you many a time that nowhere in the Quran the munafiqeen had been addressed as Ya ayyuhal ladina nafaqoo. You don't find these words because they were also legal Muslims. Whenever something is said to the munafiqeen, these are the words because they also profess to believe. So actually, secondly, you know, the 
depth of commitment of those people who came from Makkah, who had undergone all the hardships, who had passed so many examinations and tests and trials and tribulations, you know, the depth of conviction with them, it is unimaginable. But the Ansar of Medina, because they had not passed through such tests and trials and tribulations, so that was not the case. They were not equal to the Muhajirin. So now, as time passes, you know, taken collectively, the whole community, the average would go down. Although, you know, as Walun, they remain at that level. They don't go down. But, you know, taken the community as a whole, the average will come down. That is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Al-ana khaffaf Allah wa alima anna He knows that there is a weakness among you. If you are from you, there are hundred who are persevering, they will overcome two hundred. And if from you there are one thousand, they will overcome two thousand. Bismillah, with the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Wallahu sabirin. And Allah is with the the preserving people who who are persevering and who are steadfast